Hello and welcome to another small workshop tip in my garage here. This one's a bit different, it's a bit of a chemistry experiment. Um, what we want to do is to remove anodizing from an aluminium piece. Now this is an old piece, it's actually a tax disc holder, which we don't need anymore in the UK, so it's uh, of no use to anybody now. So I'm going to use this as a test. And to do that we need caustic soda and some fresh water. Uh, we need cold water, don't use hot water. The reason being that the reaction we're going to create with the caustic soda is, I think it's called exothermic, that is it gets hot. And if it gets too hot, the liquid will start to steam and you get the vapours that come off the surface there and it's not very pleasant. I did it yesterday as a test and the vapours from this thing were vile. I mean, I don't know what it is, but you don't want to be too close to it. So another warning is, if you're doing this, try and do it outside or in a well ventilated area. I mean, I'm, I'm in my garage now. The garage door's wide open. I've got a nice breeze, so that should be fine. I'm also wearing gloves, or at least one glove anyway, because you don't want to get this solution on your skin. It strips the fat and oils from your skin. It's not pleasant. It's not painful, but it's not pleasant. And you, and you don't want to get it in your eye either. That really would be unfortunate and painful. So let's start off. And I've got a cap full of this caustic soda, which we're gonna pop in there. In my first test that I did yesterday, I went a bit mad and used far too much of this caustic soda, which basically ate not only the anodizing but also the aluminium too. So we'll just go easy and now we'll mix this in until all the crystals have dissolved into solution. That won't take long, only a minute or so. And now I think that's, that solution's now pretty much dissolved, so let's give it a go. I was going to take this apart, but really there's no point because it's got no use to anybody, so I'll just plonk it in there and we'll see what happens. And not much so far. It will take about two or three minutes to get going um, to let the solution do its job. And after that, it may only be one or two minutes or even five minutes before all that anodizing has been removed. So we just have to wait. And now after another minute, um, I don't know if you can tell from the pictures here, but the solution is starting to turn a little bit blue as the dye is leached out of the piece. You see this clear water is now turning a slight blue colour. You can also see little bubbles that are coming off the piece. I think that's because of the reaction causes a lot of heat. And if you wait long enough and the piece is big enough, this water actually will start to get very hot and start to steam and, and you get horrible vapours that come off it. It's something to be wary of. <coughs> now this is starting to really get going now and I can just and I can just taste on the back of my throat some of the fumes that are coming off this so, so let's just see if this exothermic reaction has actually warmed up the water it was stone cold when I started a few minutes ago so let's just see and yet yeah, yeah it's certainly getting warm and I can't even see the piece anymore the water's turned blue there's lots of swirls and murk in there so clearly something's happening so let's go and find that piece in amongst the murk and see what's been going on. As you can see, the anodizing is starting to come off now and I think it's getting quite thin. So we'll leave him there for another minute or so and then we'll check it again. And now after 10 minutes, we can see it's pretty much done. Uh, all the anodizing's come off. It's now sitting in the solution as a blue dye. And I think that worked quite well for once. So now I'll, I'll take him out of there. I'm actually not wearing gloves at the moment because I can't operate the camera with gloves on. Um, so yeah, that worked quite well. You now need to clean that off in some water and hopefully you found that quite helpful. I was actually quite surprised how well it did work the first time I tried it. Um, there are some caveats in that you don't want to leave it in too long. If you see your aluminium piece turning black, that means it's been in there too long. So, so take it out and get it cleaned off. I hope you found that useful, so cheers for now and bye.